What we're doing here is to celebrate. Remember, celebrate and fight back. So we're remembering those that have lost their battle and we're celebrating those people that have won their battle and we're fighting back. So what we're doing is talking to the MPPs to make sure they're aware that prevention is so important. Vancouverton. Ladies and gentlemen, cancer survivors, caregivers, society volunteers, staff and distinguished guests from government. Uh, no matter what political party you belong to, we're here for one common cause and that common cause is to support the people that have had cancer, their survivors, and try to kill this deadly disease once and for all. Coming together allows us to celebrate survivorship and successes in cancer prevention Remember those who have lost their battle with cancer and pledge to keep fighting back together. I'm hoping everybody fight like me. Yeah, and all we have to do is just keep on hoping and keeping on fighting. Two of the Canadian Cancer Society values I'm focusing on as chair are courage and progressive. By being courageous and progressive, we can and will achieve much more. In my story, I had a sister who had cancer three different times and unfortunately she passed away a couple years ago at the young age of 55 and that was my final motivation to uh, retire early and assist the Cancer Society in being a volunteer driver. Celebration of courage, celebration of the determination of cancer survivors. Now, I, I look around I see many faces of courage. People here who have look cancer straight in the eye and have refused to surrender. Cancer survivor for four years on the 29th of last month make me four long years. So many people here today from different parts of the province and uh, being here with their MPPs and all committed to the same cause, making cancer history. Everyone's had their own experience with cancer, but um, my OPA battled it and we just got involved through the school. I am a survivor of, as of September, it was 13 years post-diagnosed. My grandpa was affected by cancer, but he battled through it and he's 100 years old. I think one of the most important things for me was, was the support that I received from family and friends. Um, the, the treatment is one aspect of beating cancer, but, but I think there's so much more. And, um, relying on that support and that, and that network of people um, helps build confidence and that, and that strength and that hope which is, which is so important to, to uh, beating cancer. And we just really want to support each other and uh, we want to promote that youth can make a difference too and that youth are doing what they can to help. So yeah, we're here to represent maybe the younger generation but overall just to support cancer awareness. And I promise all of us, from all parties, from all political stripes, will listen. We need to listen. We know the proof is there. And the survivors who stand out in front of us here today are an inspiration to all of us. It wasn't that I, I wasn't familiar with cancer. My, um, my mom died of ovarian cancer. Uh, two of her sisters died. Her mother died of the same cancer. Uh, my grandmother on the other side, and with uh, being the parent of three adult uh, daughters, it, uh, it really frightens me because there are, as we know, some genetic links and uh, so we're trying, we try to be as vigilant as we can and that's all part of the, uh, the whole prevention uh, issue, isn't it? Uh, our main objective today is to uh, have the legislature go uh, look at uh, tanning beds or uh, tanning industry because they're causing uh, great grief uh, with the uh, skin melanoma. Ensure that our politicians are um, taking our uh, message uh, to Parliament and um, passing the legislation we need to move ahead to eradicate cancer. A ministry that calls on all Ontarians to change. Change the way we live, change the way we address our health care, not just government, but everyone. 
And that is for us all to embrace the truism that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And cancer does unite us. It unites us across our roles, across party lines. We've heard politicians talk about that. It unites citizens, politicians, and researchers because at the bottom, we're all people. We're all affected by this disease. I'm going to light a luminary for Dr. Sheila Basra for her courage, for her commitment, and in her memory. And I would ask you all to join us for the luminary ceremony. Today, tonight's luminaries guide our passion to work and fight for the cures and light the road to hope. Each one of the candles that lines our track is a symbol of hope. Each candle represents a reason why we must all commit ourselves in the fight against cancer to work to prevent cancer for ourselves and our loved ones. Each candle represents hope for the future where cancer will be history.